Right, welcome back then. We are now in the final push. I've got a week and a half, well, two weeks until my first track day at uh, Cadwell. You saw me last time get completely carried away and restore the whole car, but no, no, come on down. Come on down, roll up, roll up. <laughs> I've got the, it's pretty dark in there, isn't it? But I've got the dash cut around the cage and back in. Have a good little drill. Yeah. Um, I've got most of the trims now refitted. So we're going to get on with some actual mechanical bits this time. Or we're going to get on with everything this time, to be honest. But first of all, we're going to do a bit of mechanical. So first job, radio leaks, change it. Now I know you can't do it, but we So we're going, Wah! put an alloy radiator on. I simply don't have the money at the moment. So a standard one with a plastic uh, end tank is going on. I don't know why stock who ordered me three today, but three have come. Um, so hopefully one of the, oh, can't go back. <laughs> hopefully one of these is gonna fit. That's a brute force way of getting in, right? What, opening the box? <laughs> well. Looks like radiator. Looks like radiator. Yeah, that'll probably do, luckily. So, I'm gonna get on with putting that in. All that running water noise is maybe need to wait one sec. Come on, empty out. Try not to make a mess. Don't really want to be cleaning up again in the morning. I may have found a new job. Oh, I've made it look good now. Not ideal. Right, for this task, I found one of these universal uh, fan fan clip. I don't know, whatever it's called. Anyway, basically that pushes through the radiator. Uh, that clip goes on the back of the fan, and it all holds together. If it ends up ruining this radiator, then, you know, there were, it's like 30 odd quid or something from Euro, I think it was. It's not mega money, so it needs replacing in the future. So this will do for now. I've got backup. I think we just dropped some that. Is it important? Not anymore. Well, doubt was it. Unless it was one of those the irreplaceable, expensive metal clips. It's, it's junk. Yeah, right. That's sort of siliconed. We're just going to put this together. Probably not film because we haven't got that many hands. And then it'll be done. And with that, it's done. This thing must have been cherished in its lifetime. It's still got blue coolant in it. We don't have any of that. So I'm going to have to order, order some of that tomorrow. And then, yeah, at least that's that job out of the way. Next night now, I've just finished uh, filling the coolant up, just warm the car up, so when that cools down, I'll top that off and that's done. Next job, onto this gear lever. This is a PMC uh, shifter, I guess they're called. Mounts direct to the body. Um, hopefully there won't be any slop and uh, it's gonna feel nice. So I've got a selection of clips and uh, shims and stuff from BMW to fit and hopefully that will restore the floppy mess that I've got at the moment into something that feels like a gear shift because this is quite unpleasant like that's in gear incredible that's the floppy old mess removed anyway this mess of BMWs know how much fun that is so on with the easy bit hopefully I've had the usual battle under here um, trying to get the anyone that's done this knows there's a yellow washer on either side of this that's a nightmare to get on and the same up in the unknown up there so that's now on all I've got to do is tighten the shifter up inside the car looks pretty good slop has been greatly reduced I mean any left is in the uh, joint on the gearbox and without dropping the gearbox down uh, I can't get to it so that is how that is for now anyway I think I can live with it Welcome back. Bright and early the next day. Excuse any noise, got the heater on, trying to warm up a bit. But quickly, before we start work for the day, time to change the oil. Oh, this is going to make a mess. One minute.
Well, because I know someone's going to notice that that, that uh, sensor's changed size. Yeah, I've uh, got a different gauge going in the car, so I just had to re-tap the adapter to M10 by one. That can go back in there. I'll nip that up and stick some oil in. Good enough. That's the front end done, so it's time to quickly swap the oil in the diff. I mean, to be fair, that looks brand new coming out, so I'm basically throwing money away at this point, but I've committed. Please don't make a mess. And just like that, time to put the plug in. Another job off the list. Okie dokie, we're, we're back. It's uh, now after work times, dark again, and it's time to pump out the black goo that is uh, brake fluid in this thing. That looks like the stuff that used to get in your eyes in the X-Files. So I've recruited a helper. Once he gets in here, he's gonna uh, work the pedal and we'll squeeze that out. We'll be refilling it with my choice of fluid. Um, ATE 200, dad good luck with this stuff. It's really cheap. Well, I don't know if it's really cheap, but it's cheap as brake fluid goes. And I've had brakes on fire with this before and nothing happened to the fluid. Pedal didn't go to the floor, so I always just stick that in. Anyway, come on, Lewis, stop messing about. Help has arrived. <laughs> You're my number one brake pusher, aren't you, for brake fluid? let's go again. Let's go again. Yeah, yeah, you've done all of them. Anyway, let's get on with squeezing this out. Let's not pour this everywhere. Down. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Down. Well, that's that one done. Four more to go, eh? <laughs> How's your leg got the pump? No, it's not too bad yet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'll do then. Thank you. <laughs> How's the leg feeling? Yeah, all right. All right. All right. So, yeah, we just finished the, uh, the last one. The mess has hopefully been contained to the cardboard. Just need to top off that and we are good. Another job off the list. Well, next task of the night is go around, make sure I don't need to order any brake pads. Um, the guy that built this did contact me on Instagram, um, which I think is two owners ago, and neither of the owners in between have used it. And uh, I think he said it's got DS 2500s in the front, which, you know, still look brand new. And I think he said red stuff in the back, you know, neither are particularly great, but all look brand new and at the moment they're gonna to have to do for this first track day i might give the discs a little wipe over um otherwise i think we are braked and fluided and time to move on to something else here we go again another evening tonight gonna to be fixing the ride height on this thing and setting the coilovers up so uh first of all we'll start at the back going to be setting the uh, length of the rear shop because they're BCs and uh, I don't know if you can see it in the dark under here but so I've set it so the bump stop just comes in just before the wheel makes contact with the body that should that set my shock length and now I'll have a look at the springs I've taken a guess at this knowing uh, how high it was before it was reasonably high so I've just wound the uh, adjusters down to their minimum um, and I'm gonna put some wheels on and see how that sits Right, moving on to the front. Luckily, this car hasn't really been used since these coilovers were fitted or all this would be rusted up and seized together. So I've got the chance now to grease it all up and uh, adjust it for uh, hopefully one last time. I'll get on with that and then we'll drop it on the floor and see how it sits. I've got it set so there's just about, just about no preload on it. Just gonna wind the adjuster up to suit. And then all the height adjustment on these is done on that bottom cup. Well, that's it down. First try. This is the back as low as it goes with adjusters still in. And we are, I mean, is it livable? It'd be nice if it was a tiny bit lower, but I don't really want to take the adjusters out because that's, you know, that's going to drop it probably onto the tire. Um, let's pick the other half up, you know Front is saying 52. It's a monster truck at the front, right? It's got to come down the front like another 15 mil. Yeah, plenty of room, plenty of room. I'll do that now. 
So I've simply wound the shock down into the bottom cup, roughly 15 mil. Uh, we'll see how that ends up in the real world. Moment of truth. Nearly. Are we down? That's three. <laughs> That is fairly reasonable sports. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'll go up a bit. Mm. I don't know. Looks pretty cool. Looks like I'm going to need some wood to get this thing on a trailer. Just been around and had a quick measure. Um, I've got this back corner here sitting about two mil higher than the other side. Um, I know I probably shouldn't be that picky at the moment till we're on the alignment gear, but I'm just going to jack it up quickly and just see if there's anything left in the adjuster on this side. Maybe I didn't wind it all the way in. So I just pulled that spring back out. Maybe there's a little bit there. So I'm just going to wind that off and try again. If anything, I want um, this side, the passenger side, to be uh, a little bit lower the, than the driver's side. Just so when we load it up with weight in the driver's seat, it's, you know, it's going to sag a bit on that side. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens with this. I've had a bit of change of heart. I'm going to try it with... Uh, the locking ring removed because um, you can lock this against the the top of the uh, adjuster cup thing so yeah let's see what uh, what difference this makes there we go again don't make me take you apart again tonight please oh that's better oh well right, let's take measure oof at 15 mil lower. Let's check the other side's level. I mean, it's still five mil higher. Don't know why, but I guess that's just how it is. There's one other thing that I need to check. Camber on the back. I've got no adjustment on this at the moment because I haven't rebuilt rebuilt the build. I haven't rebuilt because I haven't rebuilt the beam. So these things love to. Uh, camber and tow in with a bit of lowness so let's see what state i'm in well so at two 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 and a quarter degrees that's not that's not terrible i can live with that let's check the other side a bit wobbly still but roughly the same so that's good we'll live with that I hate to think what the tow is but the tow is what the tow is let's have a look at the front this thing must think it's starky look at the state of that three and three quarter degrees so that's not ideal i'll have to pull a bit of camber off the front it's all right because these uh i'll say now these are not the final wheels um i'll reveal those in a little bit and uh yeah they're quite a quite a lot less offset than these so they should still fit under the car all right let's see what difference that makes well, that's got me to about three and a quarter degrees, so I'll do the same again. If I can get it somewhere around three, I'll be uh, happy with that for tonight. That is close enough to three, or dead on three if you look at it at that angle. So I've matched the other side up the same. Uh, I'm not going to lock everything off because that needs doing on the alignment ramp, but I thought I'd do this job while I've still got a week to go because this is not the sort of job you can do in a rush. Um, as you can see, it takes absolutely ages. It's about quarter to nine now at night and uh, I'm ready for bed so we'll take this up again on Monday I've got one week left I'll make it and he's Billy and Johnny um, let's have a look nice anyway <laughs> pimped up for that tat over there what are you doing Jay? Yeah, um, nice. tonight tonight we're back to change wheels as said in every video that I've mentioned them, I'm not really a fan of these. They stick out miles on the front. Yeah, they've got a bit of a, a bit of poke, is it? Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So, thanks to the guys at uh, Rover for helping me out. I have the correct wheels for an E30. Don't oh. zoom in. It'll oh, sorry. Cock it up. All right. Um, I'm noticing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not building this car to win at a vape convention, so rotors are perfect. Yeah. And I've quickly smashed two on. And they fit. Well, they do fit. They fit a lot better. 
Yeah, let's get the other side on. We'll drop it down, and then yeah. I'll get carried away and not do anything that I'm meant to be doing tonight. Looks starky. Wheels that fit in the arches. And only three degrees camber at the front. Yeah, not. Because adding camber to make wheels fit is not how you do it, kids. Don't listen to anybody. It's wrong. Well, I mean, technically you can, but. Yeah, but it's wrong. Yeah. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And just uh, all the wheels off, taking the opportunity to just make sure everything's tight. I'm going to start smashing this around the track on Saturday. It's going to be cold, man. Yeah, I haven't built it, so. I want to. Uh, make sure I'm not going to lose any wheels like that Renault did to me. The thing is, it's when you buy these sort of apartment projects, a lot of stuff can be loose. Yeah, I mean, like, the there is that. no worries because the, the tie rods aren't tight, so, you know, what well, else isn't yeah, tight, yeah. so. And it's easy to do something and think, oh, I'll do that later, but then <coughs> sell it or whatever, yeah. so. Anyway, let's slip this other wheel on. We'll have a... You can see my perfectly new tyres. They'll be all right. Well, they will. It took it's me ages cold. this morning to set fire to all the grass and the um, things after getting dragged off angle. See, that was the last time I used them. It was right. the oh, clear, yeah, yeah. dragged, yeah, yeah, dragged yeah. onto the trucks. So it wasn't in... the best day, really, was it? Well, we've had better. We've had yeah. worse. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, Saturday's I certainly been... have. Yeah, Saturday's <laughs> be it started off as just this little cheap hobby. Yeah. Just what? Just started off the little cheap hobby, wasn't it? Yeah, it did, cheap track it? car. It lasted about a day till my white right now. What a disaster of a white yeah. Renault uh, let me down. Just did a Renault to, thing. Then I had to buy another one. Oh, well, that silver one was good. I like that silver. Yeah, to be fair, it didn't give you much trouble, really, did it? Well, apart from the wheels falling off and hubs breaking. Stuff, but <laughs> yeah. Nothing, you know, nothing major. No, no. Nothing expensive. No. We're doing a lot of looking at this, aren't we, for building a track car? There's a lot of look at this, look at that. Well, you know. The thing is, if it's just track car, you wouldn't build paint, so you could have a bit of poid in it as well, haven't you? For sure. They're in there, even stock car racing, they paint those. Mm. I spent three days wide bushing underneath the mine. So it's got to be right. Oh, it's great. That looks all right, to be fair. Well, well you're actually going to drive it for, for, you know, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, I mean, if anyone is looking at these, that's got a 10mm spacer on the back. The and the front 25. one's got a, at least 20 on to clear the brakes. The brakes are massive and they, massive on um, it. RX-7 FC brakes. Yeah, yeah, and they're uh, the ET30, these wheels are, so yeah. buy them for an E30, expect, expect spaces, but you don't really get a better looking wheel than a golden X on an E30, yeah, that's the correct one. They look better than them, to be fair. Do you mean they look better than them? There's nothing better than those. That is well, it. That is, is E30, that it? complete. Really? No need to even... Question, look. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm not an E30 uh, guru, you see. Right, I better actually do something that'll make it work now, because I've only got three nights left this We well, could do a lot, put the seat in maybe. Yeah, seat abuse, so the windscreen abuse. <laughs> There's no screen in it. Well, there is a screen in it. I've got to go and get a new one tomorrow and a new seal there. Ah, right, okay. So, wow. I've got a few little jobs to do. Anyway, we'll catch you again tomorrow night, I suppose. Lighters. Here we go then, bright and early the next morning now. Uh, I've got a little job I'm going to do this morning quickly, which is quickly put my wet tyres onto my spare wheels here. Um, these are fantastic, these make track days in the wet fun still, rather than uh, just an experience of trying not to crash on bald AR1. So I'll stick these on and make sure they fit on the car. Well, there we go. They fit. They don't hit anything. Rich was just moaning about the rear fitment, weren't you? Uh, yeah. Whereas I don't care because as long as they don't hit anything and the wheels go round, that's all that matters in the wet, isn't it? Lunchtime, I'm going to go and pick a windscreen up from around the corner. So tonight, I guess we'll get on with putting that in. Turns out I may have timed this, this next bit perfectly. Um, Phil's got a guy coming to fix a chip on Mel's car. I'm going to try and con him into slipping the seal into this. Well, call him, offer him some money. Hope he puts the keeper in, because getting that into that seal is very straightforward, but putting the keeper in is a bit of a fiddle, and if he's got the tool to do it, all good. Look at that face. As you may have guessed, the man who did uh, Mel's windscreen did not want to put this trim in. 
he was very unkeen. So here I am. What time are we on now? 20 to 7. And I've been going since half five and I've got oh, just over half in. Just the best job. Anyway, I better get it done. I can't go home until it's in. Best two hours of my life. <laughs> but it's in. Oh, I can't even turn, I can't even grip anything anymore. I've got the claw. <sighs> Whatever, it's in. Oh, I need to do some more tonight. There's only two nights left after this, so I'm gonna go get a drink and then wipers and whatever else I can tick off my massive list of things that I drew this morning. Well, it's taken longer than I'd hoped, but... Uh, uh. Oh, man. Aye, aye. Another evening. I've just had a rushing hour crossing things off my list. Uh, yeah, there's still quite a few left, but uh, I had a slight panic earlier, so figured I've only got tonight and a couple of hours tomorrow night to get this done. So we've got toe straps clipped up out the way because they look disgusting, dangling out like a little tongue. Uh, same on the back. Just bought the cheapest ones you can off, uh, they were from Demon Tweaks, but yeah, they'll do the job. Um, what else have I done? Steering wheel. The false OMP is now gone, replaced by a personal, available at driftworks.com. Brilliantly, found the clutch slave cylinder is, well it's up there in the dark, the clutch slave cylinder is leaking and has taken my paint off down here, which is brilliant. And I can't get a, I can't get a new cylinder till tomorrow, so that's the down to the wire type of job. Uh, I think tonight, it's time to align the thing, or at least set the toe, because the rest was done last week, so. I'm gonna load up the driver's seat with a bit of weight and uh, stick the kit on and just set the toe. All right, and got the thing up there now. So before we start, we'll just check the ramp's still level because that monster Starkey, yeah, managed to get his car wedged on here the other night. I'll see if he can send me the picture so I can show you lot what, what sort of a disaster it was. But no, that'll do. Close enough. Close enough for this car anyway. Maybe not feel perfect, but my perfect. No idea why I'm selecting the actual car, but because we're not exactly going to be using uh, factory specs, but I don't know, it just makes me feel better when we do it. So 316, that's what this was. Dirty old carby. Right, here's how we're starting. Completely ignore the back. There's no adjustment there, so that's just how it is. Don't know why it's got just over half a degree more camber on the left and right but it has and I can't change that now so front looks like the camber's off but it's also um the toe's not set yet so once I bring the toe back to somewhere near level then we'll uh, have a look and see if that comes back in there we go I'm there and locked off uh caster is slightly cockeyed but nothing I can do about that uh, but the toe set and the camber I've had to roughly, I've matched it up. Um, there was a bit of fanning about because the steering wheel had been off and who knows if it was in the centre of the rack so I've had to have that off and uh, re-centre it but I am as lined as it's getting. I am as, I'm aligned as it's getting for this track day. Um, I wanted to do corner weights and stuff but there simply isn't time so, uh, you know, you can go on the list for the next one. Right, moving forward. I was just about to put the fire extinguisher in and uh, old man Taylor's been round and basically told me that I need to put a passenger seat in for Nate or uh, he's not coming to play at the weekend so yeah time to quickly whip up some brackets for the passenger seat awesome thanks Craig there you go Nate no need to sulk now you can come in the car with me I'm calling that tonight so tomorrow what have we got to do my seat and harness, which is now, which is pretty straightforward, all the brackets are made. The fire extinction needs to go in. It's not too bad, it's not too bad, we're gonna be all right. Uh, in other news, the taco stopped working again, which is perfect. But I have got, wherever it is, a race tech taco to go in. I'm fed up with fighting the BMW clock, so. Um, Hopefully there'll be time to at least have a taco. I've got an oil pressure and an oil temp to go in as well, but um, you know, what you don't know can't hurt you, can it? So as long as I can see the revs, I mean, I'm sure I'll feel the limiter. 
Anyway, night, I'm hungry. Bright and early the next morning. I don't know how bright I am, but it is early. And you're a bean, so at least I have the missing clutch master cylinder. It's fitted. Right then, let me update you. I've been rushing around for the past hour and a half now. It's nearly seven o'clock. The night before I need to get it on the trailer. Um, I have a few things ticked off my list. The batteries attached to the car now. I've got a fire extinguisher mounted. I've got a fuel rail attached to the car with these little tabs that I've just knocked up. I thought the radiator was leaking, but it turns out it isn't. So for now, that's staying as it is. And there is a backup radiator there, which is coming to Cadwell with me. What I want to do now is start sticking the taco in, but the taco is not going to stop me going to the track day. So sensible thing is get my seat in, get the harnesses in, and then any spare time I've got, I'm going to put the taco on and call it done. So what's night's fun been? Well, I've done it. Finished. I mean, well, I mean, to be fair, we have seats. I mean, after, after how sad you looked last night, I had to put that in, didn't I? So. Yeah, if, well, there was going to be no passenger seat. Yeah. My lad would not be happy. I've done it, I think. I think. I'm still without a taco, but I've got seats, I've got harnesses, I'm in the thing. It moves forwards and backwards. Got a clutch. Got, got a clutch. Got no. a very long gear neither. Yeah, we've covered that. It's because you went here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic, to be fair. It oh. really does. Right, I think for tonight. Oh, I know what's going to happen. Rex is going to be ill or something tomorrow. I'm not going to have any time tomorrow. Get so, load to on trailer tomorrow. I go, yeah, come up come up tomorrow. Hopefully get the taco wired in. Um, swap this tape for some PPF film that I've got. And then it's... Nate's going to trash that. Well, I've got some proper film for it. Have you seen him gangly, though? He'll be kicking all this when he gets in, on that. You'll be very sad. <laughs> like Bambi? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'll tell him to keep his, bank, uh, his yeah. Bambi legs to himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's happening with this bit? Uh, I'm waiting for um, Gaz to manufacture me some door cards. Right, OK. Yeah, don't worry. What are they? Window winders. You know, like, like in the manual. old days, yeah. Right. I need to put the screw on this one. Oh, but, yeah. how quaint. Oh. So. Uh, the man who sold it to me described them as keep fit windows, I think he said, or something like that. Lightweight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like a motor weighs that much, but... To be fair, at least the window's open, like the plexiglass, you, you know, oh, is a nightmare you not being able to open. You that, do you? But, no, no, I mean, I mean, yeah. the cage isn't going to give me a dead arm, which is a bonus, so yeah. well done, Jamie. I mean, look how much difference that is. Bear in mind, the cage was down I mean, here. Where's and it was... my head? When I've, got a, when I've got a hat on. Yeah, I mean, it's... No, it's going to be miles away from everything on top. No, it's really good. Yeah, that is awesome. Worth the effort. I, I feel think. like I'm in this car. The clear, you sort of sat on it. Mm. You know, like even with the bucket seat, it's still weird mm. seating position. French. Oh, yeah, I guess. Just forget you ever owned the clear. When did the, the silver one was all right, to be no, fair. No, I like that car. It was good fun. Yeah. I just hope this is as reliable. Because that one I used to put on the trailer, really. I put it on the trailer after every event and just took it to the next one. Right, you joined me mid-panic. Currently Friday lunchtime. I've got about an hour till I need to be on the way home to go and pick my little one up from school, but I'm calling it done. I managed to get the taco in oh, this morning, which looks fairly sporty and works. So yeah, that's cool. Time to get it off the ramp and finish this video off, I guess. Are we recording? Yeah. Oh. It's been a long couple of weeks, hasn't it? But it even feels it today. <laughs> the Black Friday. This is this is a this is a Friday yeah. and and the Black Friday. And mate, I am stoked for you today. You must be super super. I'm well happy with the way it looks. Yeah, I just it hope great. it works. Yeah. But yeah, it is as good as finished. There's bits that need finishing off. There needs some more gauges wiring in. Um, I didn't have time to make the illumination work on the taco, but whatever. Just don't drive in the dark. Um, so now the plan is, I suppose, change the wheels, put the weights on, because snow's forecast tonight, and I don't want to be riding around in the pits in the morning to do that, so stick the weights on, I'll put it on the trailer, and I'll see you lot um, at Cadwell, hopefully in the morning, but that might be a couple of weeks in YouTube time. 
Due to unforeseen circumstances, we're going into extra time. Morning. For some reason, I'm on the way to Cadwell Park. What am I doing? Well, I'm here. Looks slightly less slowy, but this is going to be quite a grim day, I think. This is going to be awesome, I can barely open the car door. All right then, positive news. I've done a couple of sighting laps behind the, uh, behind the pace car. Nothing seems to have fallen off. No rainbows coming out the back. Um, I don't know, it feels like a car. Brakes feel a bit rubbish and the steering is very light, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. We're on a bit of a delay now for weather, so I'm going to go and sit in the canteen a bit, um, have a nice cup of cocoa or something nice. And uh, I'll stick a GoPro in when it opens up and see what falls off first. Okay then, so for some reason this morning, even though I checked it last night, the GoPro won't turn on. So I'll just going to have to improvise, I guess. Okay, let's uh, hope for the best. Well then, that hasn't exactly gone to plan, has it? I don't know if it'll show up on the video, but come and have a look at this. <laughs> it's the noise it makes as well, isn't it? It's not, not ideal. I don't know how keen I am right now to start rolling around the floor trying to find a circlip to put back on, so... Maybe this will be the end of the video and I'll add it on to the last one. Right, made it back to Birmingham in one piece without getting snowed in. A little bit disappointing, but just I was so tired. I, I didn't really have the enthusiasm to lie in the snow and rain and 
misery and try and find a clip and yeah whatever um, at least I've driven the car a few laps it feels quite strong um, seems to go quite well in a straight line which I'm surprised by but it does get into fifth gear quite quick uh, I think the guy said it was a 373 on the diff ratio which I didn't think was that short but it feels pretty uh, pretty sporty um, don't think I'd want to go anywhere on the motorway in it but no thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the extra bonus footage don't really think I've had enough from today to make an extra episode so I've tacked it on the end but still give us a thumbs up a like subscribe or whatever this that the other see you next time for Anglesey